definitely start heading that way because out at night. Yeah, I'm being pursued by I don't know what the fuck. I'm not coming and helping you. You can keep it out away what? from here too. I'm Everyone trying, but like you know, though. I'm just like randomly running in different places. Uh -huh. Uh, town at all, watch out, there's a puking police officer there. Uh, that would be one bad traffic stop. Yeah. License and registration. <laughs> yeah. And yeah, you're burning an ass. Oh, wow, you don't look anything like this picture. Oh fuck, where'd you come from? Staying over that way. Keep your friends over there. I am. I've already had to keep, keep how many demon dogs my way. I hear one hitting on something. No, don't do that. That was nice. But anyway, yeah, I, I was screaming, and like Herschel was one of my favorite characters. Herschel was one of my favorite characters too, and it's like I kind of feel bad how I we are RPing him. But the way yeah. that we have it going with the RP that we have going, um, we're doing a Bethel RP where Daryl and Beth kind of get into a relationship and we're Beth having a baby and everything. That was that was not Daryl's by blood, but he sort of takes the baby on and everything. And it's like the way we have it and the way I portray Jimmy is kind of very much very not how yeah. they portray him in the uh, show because you don't really know much about his backstory in the show other than the fact that he was Beth's boyfriend and that his parents had turned and that's how he ended up on the farm. That's all you know. And so yeah, I kind of depicted him a lot different than in the RP. So. Well, that's how we do a lot of role plays because, yeah. I mean, if you do it strictly by what's all happened and like, you know, the actual show or comic or manga or Whatever anime it is or what that you're doing. I mean, you're you've already doing. seen it and stuff like that. And there's so much to be learned about different characters that the authors never really let you know about because it's not really relevant. It's not a big main plot, character. You know. Uh, yeah. Jimmy either was that so unimportant that they killed him off first season. Or even, season. even so, though, like, even if it's not. Um, just a main, even if it's just a supporting character, it doesn't mean, you know, even the more well known characters, we don't really. Right, it's like we truly you know, don't they know don't that much about, about, them. about them. That's why I try to come up with a backstory for Spirit Albarn when I was role playing as him. Yeah. And, um, I'm still thinking about retaking back up that role, but. Like, you know, there's so much that they did not tell about, like, him or Stein yeah. or Kami or, you know, just anybody, you know. You know a few things, and some things are hinted at, but they're not really... Yeah. You know. But yeah. that's one of the beautiful things about role-playing and fan fiction, you know. You yeah, get to... you can detect them on how you want to detect them. But now... I will say this though, like I hate it when everybody makes Blair a whore. 
yeah. Blair came She's from. She's not really that much of a whore. I don't really think, I mean, yeah, she might be a little, she might dress trampoline, but she's not, she's not a slut, I don't think. Yeah. Because, I mean, seriously, like, what? The most I've seen her flirt with ever is with Soul, and that's just to get him embarrassed. Yeah, and and maybe occasionally, maybe it, some some fans might construe her as flirting with Spirit, but like she never even really flirted too much with him either. Right. Like I don't know if you call anything that she did with him as flirting. So. That just, it, it kind of irritates me to see a good character yeah. portrayed really badly. I mean, to, they warp the character so far to where it's nothing like the character that you remember. Yeah. I mean, there's a difference between Eddie's backstory and between... Yeah. I mean, I think that's why a lot of, it's like, you do learn about some of Daryl's backstory... In third season, yeah. in second season, when Merle's around, but it's like you really don't know much other than the fact that their dad was a complete asshole. You kind and of learned. And their mother set, I think, died in a fire because she that she said. Yep, the mother died in the fire because yeah. of a cigarette at being lit while she passed out while drunk. That's really so, all you learn. From that, we can gather though that probably their family, like their parents, might have had an unstable life. Very because unstable and a very yeah, even when they were growing up, you you I kind of get the impression that that's probably why their parents were messed up. And if you watch the game play for Survival or you play the game, yeah, yeah, you, they you will. Um, they do go back into like further like when they first when the outbreak first starts of the walkers and everything. It's like you kind of learn a little bit more of that than. I'm not sure it's can it's considered canon though, but it kind of because um, Kirkman right. did do some of the writing for it, I believe. Ah. Uh. But um, yeah. Other than that, really. Well, like I said, you know, role players. I mean, there's a there's a difference between adding to their past history. And yeah. likes and dislikes and stuff, and then just Making completely a, a complete background that's not even. Yeah, cool. I mean, you know, I, I did not role play Spirit necessarily canon, of course, but I tried to keep him as much Spirit like as possible, but have fun with him at the same time and kind of add to his history. Yeah. So, like, that's one of the things, even with every character I do that, because so many characters that I like, I don't know that much about them. So yeah. you have to fill in the blanks. I gave Spirit's parents a name, you know? Right. I, doesn't mean everybody else has to use that name, it's just what I wanted to do. Right. You know, that was for my particular portrayal of him. Right. But people really, like... Don't just create. I don't think that you should just create a back, weird backgrounds or like just yeah really not depict them properly. Or yeah, like how they really should be depicted. Even. Yeah. What I also don't like is like you know. I mean, I do get this to a certain extent, but people get bitchy if you pretend if you make an OC character and it's not you pair anything them with a cannon or something yeah. like that. Yeah. Either like, that what? or you know, I didn't know Byakuya Kuchiki had a cousin. Well, I mean, it might not have mentioned it, but it didn't necessarily say that every single Kuchiki was dead. That was blood. You know? Right. I mean, there could have been a distant cousin or whatever. That's what I was working with whenever I created my um, Bleach OC, which is the one that I met you through. Right, right, yeah. So. And, like, even if, like, if you really want to get that picky, Rukia's technically not his sister. She's technically his sister-in-law. Yeah. That's Actually, cool. she's technically not only his sister-in-law, but she's also his adopted sister. Yeah. If you so, want to be I very mean, technical. Yeah. And... You know, just... It's just a mess. But, yeah, you can deduce some things, logically, from 
you know, parents were that dysfunctional. They either had a mental illness or they was probably maybe physically or sexually abused or something themselves. Or they just were raised that way to where parents, some kids, it, you do get the saying, the apple does not fall very far from the tree. From exactly. the fact that how some parents, some people act because of their parents. Yeah, exactly. And, you know, some kids, they're brought up helter-skelter. Their parents don't really give a shit what they do. Right. And so, they turn out to be highly respected people of society type stuff. It's one of those, you have to, it's just how you want to live your life. I mean, obviously, Daryl didn't really want to live his life like how Merle did. And he proved that he wasn't like his brother and stuff. Yeah. Of course, Daryl, you know, that character, you know, there's been made, he's made improvements, because, like, Major you know, at first, everybody was like, well, I probably would have shot him, too, or whatever. Everybody's wanted to shoot Daryl, you know. Uh, <laughs> seriously. Yeah. Oh, that oh, made geez, me that scared the crap but out of me. Daryl does have, and Daryl may have made, you know, kind of, like, kept on talking to... Glenn, like, calling him China Man. Yeah, but it's like, now, he knows late. now, it's just like, if he does that, that's a good Yeah, he's, he's just kind of, his character has grown out of that kind of... Right, that mindset of... Bigoted yeah. mindset, and that might have actually been just from his parents, just like, you know, all he that's had been around. Right. around Merle. Ow! Not only Merle, but, like, his maybe his parents well, and yeah. his uncle Jess, and you know... Who knows what he got into when he was in jail? Because you know he had to have been in jail more than once. Especially with Merle, him always being around Merle too. He's yeah, still, and Merle was bossed him around. Mm -hmm. In case you haven't noticed, guys, we're major fans of The Walking Dead. That's part of the reason why we're playing this type of game too. That's also like why we're sitting here critiquing it while we're doing uh, this. Because of how much we love the show. Yeah, we have two role plays going with me playing Daryl and two separate role plays. Uh, we technically have three going because we still have one. Oh yeah. The twins are considered infants still. Oh going. yeah. So and that we have it. Also, we have another one between our OC characters, um, between Aiden and. Daryl and Cheetos. Melda. Melody. Yeah. yeah. If we was gonna do the whole Troy then, and ain't thing. Trini and then um then there was something else I can't remember. I can't remember uh, either. We was gonna try to do like a Carl Grimes. We were doing Carl something. something. One time. Yeah. I think it was gonna be like a Carl like a Carl and Oh, was it Carl? I don't know. I know I want to roleplay as Carl, because, like, he's one of my favorite characters, because, I mean... Um, I think we're yes. doing, like, a Carl and Judas sibling roleplay, or we're planning yeah. to. No, uh, with the other thing I was talking about was Damon. Oh, Damon. Judith. Yeah. Yeah, Damon and Judas. But, yeah, we were also going to roleplay as siblings, um, Judas and Carl. Wow, these stumps. I bet you the people in The Walking Dead would actually love stumps that Miranda right, right, that had a whole bunch of stumps. Give them food and pain medication. <laughs> like, maybe that's where Merle got half of his damn meds from. He went to all these empty stumps. He had these hollow stumps and knew how to get them. <laughs> yeah. He was like, hmm, I think I might get some antibiotics for this plant here. <laughs> I don't know. Oh my god, where do we come up with these things? I don't know, it's our minds, go figure. Yeah, considering how we're role players and writers. Right? Yeah. Crazy people tend to think alike. Mm. Kind of. I hear the very slow footsteps. Is that on your end, or...? Uh, that could have been me. I kind of was running across the I bridge. am looking for nest... <laughs> Fuck! Nope, it's still missing. I am being hunted. Hold on. Which direction? Is it just that one? I don't know, because I got walkers my way. 
I'm about to go into that uh, one gas station by the um, town for the Oh no. Listen, I'm not up for a threesome, you two naked guys. But they want to give a threesome. Huh? But they want a threesome. Yeah, I don't, I don't want one with these guys. Walker, will you just die? You stupid! Ah. Listen, I told you I'm not interested. They might be, but I'm not. One down, that's for like kidding me. Yeah, go where we're somewhere else. <laughs> Fuck. Just die. Isn't that a common thing you hear on this game? How did one hit. Actually, I'm not infected, but I did get hit a lot. Like you have one bullet on you. Just what I need. I don't even have my gun on you. Where are you, other naked guy? You keep him over there. Was it big guy? No, it was a bunch of walkers that came out of nowhere. I was stuck on one. Yeah, I just had two naked guys chase me up a boulder. Found a nurse toy. Yeah, I still contend that the real nurse toy is hotter. Do what? I did a little run through the cornfield and decided to grab corn while I was out. I don't know where you guys came from, but... I just want my backpack, please. Where I'm going, I don't know yet. 